What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to remove Microsoft Teams from Windows 11. You'll know that you have Microsoft Teams installed if you have the Teams logo on your start bar down here called Chat. Upon clicking it, it pulls up a window that either has your email and phone number on it or it tells you that you can download Teams. Either way, you're going to want to avoid clicking this button. There's two versions of Microsoft Teams that you can have, the Business Edition and the Personal or Normal Edition, and that's the one that's linked down here as chat. There's two things we need to do in order to remove it completely from our computer. First of all, hit start and type in apps. Click on the settings option for apps and features. And inside of this window over here, all you're going to want to do is search for teams. Then you should see one or two Microsoft teams showing up on the list if it's installed at all. If you see Microsoft teams with a purple logo, as in three or two people standing together, that's the business edition. If you see a square logo that's mostly blue with some white in it, that is the community edition of Teams, and that's the one you're going to want to uninstall. If you don't use Teams at all, simply uninstall all Microsoft Teams versions that you find on the list over here. You can click the three dots and choose uninstall. Then when it's done uninstalling, you'll see that you still have the icon on your start bar, and clicking on it still opens up this Windows. For some people, clicking on the button will make it download Teams once more, so do avoid that. Let's go ahead and actually remove that icon from our start bar. In settings, head across to personalization on the left hand side, locate and click on taskbar, and inside of here you'll see the chat icon. We can simply turn this off here. As soon as you turn it off, it'll vanish from your start bar, and things will be a bit cleaner. On top of this, I don't use the task view at all, so while I'm here, I'll be turning this off too. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!